For endometriosis, we know that surgery is the first line of treatment. For good treatment of endometriosis, a proper laparoscopic surgery is the mainstay. But it is important that the first surgery is done in a proper manner. All endometriotic cysts, the chocolate cysts must be excised, drained. All the raw areas, the bleeding surfaces should be properly cauterized. All adhesions should be removed. And if there is any residual endometriosis, it is important to give a hypothalamic pituitary suppression with what is known as a GnRH agonist depot preparation of 3.75 milligrams which can be given once a month for three months post surgery. Thereafter, if the tubes are patent and if the surgery has been well done, the patient would have a good chance of a natural pregnancy. You cannot wait for too long because you have to remember that with endometriosis there is a chance of recurrence within six months to one year of the primary surgery if there is no pregnancy. So if in six months of surgery the patient has not got pregnant, it would be advisable to give some kind of treatment in the form of ovarian stimulation with intrauterine insemination which will benefit cases of stage 1 and 2 of mild disease endometriosis but remember for severe and moderate cases especially stage 3 stage 4 with major ovarian cysts simple treatments such as IUI are unlikely to work for all these other patients it would be better to do IVF because it is only with IVF that I would be able to remove the egg and sperm from the toxic environment which is often associated with endometriosis also it gives us an opportunity to assess egg quality which is often compromised in patients with endometriosis also the embryo quality so that the couple can be counseled accordingly about their prospects about their chances and what future line of treatment they need to follow down regulation protocol is what is usually advisable for cases of endometriosis where we suppress the endometriotic activity with 15 to 20 days of injections before the periods then induce ovulation with high doses of follicle stimulating hormone. It is important here that an AMH level is checked to make sure that the patient has an adequate ovarian reserve because if she doesn't then you need to titrate the doses of FSH accordingly. With such an approach you can expect a 40 to 50 percent chance of pregnancy with in vitro fertilization per cycle of treatment. Severe cases of endometriosis where the AMH is very low, where there are practically no eggs left, where repeated IVF cases have failed, where too many surgeries have been done, might need to go for donor oocytes or donor eggs to achieve pregnancy.